Well, depending on your age, maybe some of us have seen this. This is a song for the 90s. Welcome to Dorena Central, man. Take your order, please. Yeah, I want... Oh. 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 That was deep. And thought to ourselves, that's kind of the setup I want. Maybe I need a mic like that. Maybe a mic like that would be way better than what I'm shooting with now. So, we got this. Came today. Came today. Let's see what it is. Let's see how it sounds. And let's see if it can make this better. Coming up. So one of the big things with any kind of video production is your sound, which is why for the most part, I try to shoot as much as possible with a good old shotgun mic, which is attached right now to my Canon M50 and it helps get a bit better sound. I've also got some blankets on the walls to help hold back some of the echo, which again helps. But having a mic that we can get closer to ourselves can sometimes be even better. So let's crack this open real fast to see what's in it. It's big. Pick this up on Amazon. Really what this is is a whole kit. So let's open this up. It's a box in a box. Box in a box. And we're gonna lay this and move my computer. I brought my computer up because we are gonna need it. Here it is. This is the Mayono Studio Microphone Set. Now I've had the opportunity to review some of their mics before. Actually, here's one over here. It's a nice little stand microphone, which I like. And I've also had the opportunity to work with their lapel mic or lavalier mic, which sometimes I use on my motorcycle when I'm riding if I wanna record some of that sound. But this is a nice all-in-one pack. So what's in it? I don't know. Let's open it, shall we? So nice box, just so you guys can see the back. There's the back. Um, Aono Studio microphone set. Here's your polar pattern at one kilohertz. This makes sense to you guys. For me, this is a lot of technical stuff. I'm not an audio guy. I do know what sounds good, or I hope I know what sounds good. At least it sounds good to me. And that's really what we're gonna test today. So we have a desk mount, we have Everything here in the kit, including like a shock mount. We have a pop filter. We have like a scissor clamp, which is excellent. Specifications over here, microphone core, 16 millimeter condenser, cardioid pattern, 30 hertz to 16 kilohertz frequency response, 192 kilohertz, 24 bit sampling rate, uh, sensitivity minus 38 decimals, plus or minus three dB. Maximum SPL, hopefully you guys know what that means, 120 decibels. Signal noise ratio, 70 decibels. And basically it is uh, five volt, about 7.2 ounces, and it's all black. So let's crack it open. All right, so here is everything. We get our pop filter, pop filter. We get a little muff, little thing here for the microphone. We get a little shock mount. We get a little uh, podcasting, oh, they call it the podcasting microphone kit. It's the AUA04, and this is the user manual. Cool. We get, this is the clamp, nice little desk clamp. We get the USB cable. We get, this will be the clamp itself, will be my guess. Crack that open. Yeah, there's your clamp. Put that over there. And last but not least, we get a little tiny microphone. Which microphone is this? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure what microphone this is, but uh, if I can figure out what it is, I'll put it in the description so you guys can, can see. It's a little different than my other ones that are tabletop. This one definitely is for this kit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually set this up on my desk and we will be back as soon as I do that. And nice and simply, we'll, we'll test the mic out, see what it sounds like, see what the whole system goes for, see if it's worth the 89 bucks or whatever it is. All right, guys, two secs. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, we are back and I am still recording right now off of the shotgun mic that's attached to my camera here. So you guys will be able to hopefully hear the difference from what a shotgun mic sounds to this. What I'm also gonna do is afterwards, uh, actually what I'll do right now for you guys is I'm gonna stop this right here, 
unplug the actual shotgun, which is what I just did, so that you guys can hear what the camera mic sounds like. So this is my Canon M50 camera mic setup. So that's what you would get if you had no microphone. And we'll stop this again, plug this back in. And we are back to my shotgun. We are gonna go here onto my computer and you'll see on the Mac side at least that if you go into your sound, which is in your system preferences under sound, you will have your input, which is for me, normally it's set to your internal microphone. I've got it set now to the microphone USB and you can see this is picking me up even though it's not right now recording. But let's do some recording, shall we? So we're gonna open up good old Final Cut here and we will make just a new project. Audio test, sure. And we are gonna actually do a little voiceover. So we are gonna come in here and record voiceover because then we can tell this system settings, yes, or I can tell it to do the USB microphone, but system settings is what we have it set to. Uh, actually, let's do one and two. Testing, testing, testing. Nice. Event, yep. And name, don't care. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, guys, so I'm interrupting the video for a minute. I've gone back and listened to this and I was happy with the microphone when I was really in here, and I know that this kind of microphone kind of wants that, but one of the things that I also noticed, and if you go back just a little bit, is that right here on the mic, you would have saw the branding, so where it says Mayono. So I was like, well, maybe there's actually a front and a back, so not just you know, making sure it's facing kind of this way like it is now, but maybe it has a, a pattern that sh shoots further out one side than the other, which would make sense. So I've spun the mic around because I wanna make sure I'm getting a good test here. So you'll notice that now the branding is on the side facing me. So when I'm here, what does it sound like? My guess is that it's gonna sound a lot better. My hope would also be that if I'm over here, it also sounds a fair bit better as well because the cardioid pattern should kind of wrap around here and then come in on the back, which means that when I was having this spun around, even when I was here, it would pick me up because I was close. But as I moved away, so over here, we really lost some of that audio. This is something to be really aware of, making sure that the branding is facing you because that tells us which part of the mic is the front and which part of the mic is the rear. So when I'm here, does this sound better? My guess would be it does because we don't want the branding necessarily on the rear. My hope would also be that me sitting even to the side now where this is not far, but definitely allowing me to talk to you guys without this being right here in my face because when we're doing video, we want to be seen. All right, so hopefully this gives you a good idea if this audio is better, gives you an idea that there is a front and a rear, and also a better idea of the audio quality of this microphone compared to, for one, if you have it backwards, and two, against a shotgun and an on-camera mic. All right, I'm gonna let you watch the remainder of the video, but this I thought was important to test because I caught this during the editing phase. All right, guys, continue on. Please stand by for further details. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, so now we are actually utilizing this microphone. So the bonus of this microphone, of course, is a few things. Number one is that if this was a way back here, and this is sometimes what happens with me, is that I get things like fan noise, or if I'm using a lens on my camera that doesn't have a silent motor, what happens then as well is that what we hear is the focus motor zooming in and out. This can help because our microphone now is considerably further from the camera, which means that it's not gonna pick that up. Now, I'm sure if I brought this closer here, what'll happen is that you and I will probably start to hear my fans inside my Mac 
firing up because it's trying to keep the machine cool while it's doing this recording with no delays. The real question is, how does it sound? I'm gonna do one of these, ready? One, two, three, test, test, test. One, two, three, test, test, test. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Big thing here is this is a pop filter, so it should help on my pus, pa, 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 pops. So, is it? All right, we're gonna go back now to the normal camera, which is right here with you guys. And I'm gonna stop this so I can go take a listen, and I'm gonna come back, and you and I are gonna finish this video to figure out if we think this is worth it. All right, guys, one more sec. Not two, one. One's enough. All right, hold up. Okay, so the first thing that's really important here to realize is that this mic really needs to be close. You really need to be, and you don't want to be here, you really want to be here. So you're kind of talking into it this way, which means you have to be aware which way this is kind of angled, because you need to be talking in it really direct, so get nice and close to it. If you're doing things like a video recording, for instance, and I have to really be here, how does that feel, right? Are you okay with that? Because if I'm way back here, you may notice that it may not be picking you up quite as much. I'm gonna bring this back up again so we can take a listen. So what you'll see is if I'm talking right here, and I'm talking at a normal voice, and I'll switch from my shotgun microphone right now, and here's the shotgun microphone, and this is a good distance away, like this is almost two arms lengths away from me, and then back to this microphone. When I'm over here, this one should definitely sound a lot cleaner, I would think, or bassier, or anything like that. But the problem is, is if I come over here, because I want to kind of get in that talking mode, what happens now is this is where a microphone like this, you have to be aware of it. I'm not saying this is a negative of this system. What I'm saying is you just need to be aware when you're getting like a podcasting setup that this is really designed for audio, which means you're going to be over here recording this. And in that case, I think this is picking up actually really well. If you're a person like me, that's in a setup that I'm going to be moving around a lot. I'm over here. I'm back here. I'm forward a lot more. I'm kind of always on the move. Then something like a shotgun or something like a microphone that picks up kind of all over the place versus something that's got a forward and rear facing cardioid pattern maybe something to invest in. But this comes with a lot of things that you would spend that kind of money on anyway. It comes with the scissor kit, it comes with a USB cable, it comes with the pop filter, it comes with the shock mount. And if you even have another mic, maybe you just want to use that with this kit. Now you have a spare as well. So be aware of what this kit is for. I think it's a great value if you're buying it for the right reasons. I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys. If you feel like it is something that you'd be interested in and it's down there easy to easy to click on other than that I'm gonna leave you guys with that like comment share and subscribe this is the Mayono Mayono studio microphone set studio podcasting set really All right, my friends that's it for today like comment share and subscribe and we will talk to you guys again in the next video all right have a good one and we will see you later all right, guys, so I just wanted you to be aware that that last section was completely recorded with this microphone backwards. Don't let that be what you think of when you think of this mic. Let this audio be what you think of when you think of this mic. Because as far as I can tell now, going back and listening to that one section that I did where I cut in, it sounds really, really good. And I may actually use this mic way more often in the future because I actually like the way it sounds. But be aware, again, still cardioid pattern, which means if I come over here, it's not gonna sound quite as good as if I'm in this range, but it does have a good pickup zone. I'm actually really happy with it. Other thing to be aware of is that there is a front and a back. So make sure that the Mayono name or the branding is facing you and that you're talking into it this way, not into it this way. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good one.